Hi there. So today what we're going to learn is we're going to learn one of the core skills that you'll need to learn as an internet marketer, which is taking screenshots. Now, taking screenshots is great for a number of reasons. It's great for uh, support issues. It's great for um, screenshotting. Let's say you get a testimonial or a great comment on Facebook um, that you can you know, email out to your list and, and so on and so forth. So there's some great reasons that you can do screenshots. Okay, now, there's a couple programs that you can use to do that. Um, one of them that I like that works for both Mac and PC is called Snagit. Okay, and Snagit also has uh, you know an extension in the in, in the Chrome Store. Okay, so there is this one does have a price. Okay, um, a cost and uh, forty nine dollars. You know that's that's pretty much it. You're not going to need to um, you know to pay any more for it. So I would recommend that. Um, I believe there are some uh, other ones uh, like Jing is still available for free, and it will do a short um, five minute uh, uh, video. Okay. Um, maximum five minutes but I'm just gonna show you um, snag it because it's super powerful so when you load snag it um, it will be right here and you can move this around keep it where you want um, this is additional options that can you know show you some oh, what is it hotkeys that will launch it automatically but what I do is I just uh, I'll just hit escape there I just hit the big red button okay then I'm going to go to the part of the page that I want to screenshot, okay? And what this allows me to do is two things. Either I can do um, an image capture, in which case let's grab this image for me, and then I can use some of these different tools to do things. So right now it's on the uh, pen. So if I click pen and then I can choose one of these colors, um, I can draw on the screen, okay? Um, another nice thing is the blur. Okay, and this is the blur tool. So what you can do is select this tool and then, um, you know, drag it over there. Okay, and what that will do is that will blur it out. And because that's not totally blurred, um, you can actually do another layer of blur over top of it. And as you can see, it's going to make it. Um, more blurry. So that's three levels. Normally you won't need to, to do that. Like if I was just going to do this here, uh, usually you just need to do it once just because this, this text is so large and so clean. Okay. Um, also what this allows you to do is to put in dialogue. So you can do it like, uh, like this, um, and drag this in here and say, you know, Hey, um, what's up, you know, or, um, you know, check out this testimonial and then you can move it around um, adjust it uh, any way you want and even with this yellow thing you know adjust uh, who's saying it so you could make this you know 24.95 say it okay now if you just want text without um, anything then you, you would use this or uh, you can use this and then you can drag it all around and this just you know will um, you know, all this stuff can be customized, but I, I wouldn't worry too much about that other than changing the font. And I'll show you how to change the font. You can change it to one of the fonts that, that, uh, that you have installed. I got a, a font here uh, that's installed and then you can change the size. Okay. Uh, that's too big. Uh, so that's a good size. And then you can re or uh, or rearrange this box okay and then just click in the middle and uh, and drag it over now if you've screenshot a little bit too much and you know you're like oh yeah I didn't want to actually get get this part you could actually drag your um, canvas down a little bit and then you can see that that part's gone so you don't need to don't need to worry about that um, so you can do that from all those levels and then boom, it'll just resize and um, you'll be good to uh, to go. Other nice thing is you can do arrows. So you can draw a nice arrow just if you want to draw people's attention to this, um, you know, uh, and then we'll write, uh, you know, 
how much do you think this costs? Okay. Another thing that you can do that I use uh, frequently is I use the numbers. So I'll be, you know, uh, one, how much you think this costs? And this is good for systemizing. And then you can, if you drag another number on, it will be two, um, a lot. And then you can do, uh, drag if you drag another number on, you can do that. And then we'll drag on some text and we'll say, but it's worth it. Okay, click off, and then we're gonna be able to, to drag this around here, okay? Um, so those are some things you can do with screenshotting. You can also erase uh, things if you want, and this allows you to uh, remove the background. You can see how that that's uh, actually making it transparent when you see that little checkerboard there. Um, so that will be a transparent part, uh, you know, if you want to do that. And you can fill everything with, you know, orange if you want. And uh, obviously that looks terrible. Command Z uh, will undo, or you can um, edit undo from, uh, from here, okay? And that's pretty much it, okay? So what you can do is you can save it. And then it's going to prompt you to where you want to save it, and it will generally do an, a, an auto saved capture. Um, I'm just going to call it, you know, test snag it, and I will save that. Okay, so now I've saved that. What I can do now is I'm, I can put this on social media. So I could post this as an image, let's say on Facebook, and then type my post update. Right? What that does is anytime you have an image attached to a post, it's going to get more views because people are going to be looking at the image, right? And this obviously is just uh, it's just an example image. Um, now these are your previously ones uh, save that you can, um, you know, just remove from that, or you can bring some of these uh, back up, right? So I'll bring this one back up. This is um, uh, one that I was using earlier for a presentation, okay? Uh, so you can make it active. All right. Now you can also adjust these sharing settings. I have this set up so that I can upload screenshots to my FTP server. What that allows me to do is, is outsource and delegate um, you know, quickly. But you can also send it to, let's say, Evernote or something like that, or write to, uh, to Facebook, okay? And what you will do is you will set that up in the preferences. You can change the order of these. So I normally send to, uh, to FTP. And this is where I send, um, you know, a lot of my uh, screencasts that I that I have. You can send it to Evernote um, and have it go to a particular notebook. You can send it to Google Drive, or you can send it to Facebook, and you would just, you know, link your your Facebook account and then drag this over, right? And so the ones that are on this side of the the dotted line will show here. Um, so they'll be your default ones, but you can also click that and see the, uh, the rest of the ones that you can send to. So apart from that, um, you know, that should be pretty much it, how to, how to use this. And yeah, I hope this was, um, you know, helpful. Now I do want to show you one other thing. Okay. Because this is actually just screenshotting an image. I'm going to show you how to actually screenshot a video. Okay. So again, um, I can uh, select where I want to screenshot it from, but instead I'm going to click the capture video. Okay. And it's going to see, it's going to grab my microphone um, and I'm just going to press record. Just going to say three, two, one. And then it's going to record my voice and you can see the, uh, or and you might not be able to see the uh, the the uh, audio there, but basically this is recording my voice and my screen and my clicks. So if I go to Google and you know um, let me search for a hot dog, and I'm doing an example here. I'm looking for keyword research. Uh, what this allows me to do is to you know do a demonstration a video where 
you're actually doing this this video and you can be you know talking about the page and what you see here and so on and so forth okay now to end the video you're gonna click this icon here and you're gonna click stop recording okay and there you've got that recorded um, you can obviously play it back and then it's gonna record my voice and you can see the uh, or so you can see it's record exactly what this video what I've done okay so here's the thing this is not a gimmicky program um, this is something that you know I think is pretty important and you know ultimately is something that can uh, really help your business allow you to deliver value as well to people um, you know do some training that sort of thing so I think it's it's uh, you know a, a really important skill to learn a really important tool to have and uh, there you go hope that that uh, that helps so reach out if you have any questions thanks guys